Do you know what I want? What do you want? I want candy. Candy. Oh, uh, who doesn't want candy? I know. I want candy too. Do you? <laughs> hey, you know where the best place to get candy? Where? It is the Royal Candy Castle. It's a castle of candy. Castle of candy. They, it, right. They have a moat. Can't get any better than that. <laughs> you can't get much better. They have nostalgic candy. They have, uh, oh, too bad you can't reach over that glass and show that Beeman's. You see that gum right there? Oh, maybe you can reach over. Uh, yeah, look at that. Look at, yeah, we've got Beeman's. There we go. And uh, you want to you give her the, uh, the other kind there, too? And that is Clark's Tea Berry Gum. Clark's. And uh, <laughs> I like those because uh, both of them you probably can't get in the store anymore. Yeah. Right? So if you're looking for nostalgic candy, you go to the Royal Candy Castle. And they are on La Mesa Boulevard in the heart of San Diego. La Mesa. La Mesa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would only make sense, right? Yeah. So if you're <laughs> in the uh, La Mesa area, it's yeah. right downtown. It's where they have old cars. They line I love the old cars. They have that car <laughs> show like every weekend or something like that. Oh, nice. I didn't they have that. it pretty soon. Every it's Thursday. Every Thursday, there we they go. have the old cars <laughs> out there, so you can go there and you can get some candy at. Royal Candy Castle. Yeah. Oh. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I know. And they have something. You like uh, pixie sticks? I love pixie sticks. They have the pixie sticks <laughs> on steroids. <gasps> those big old tubes? They do. They I have used those. to get those all the time when I was little. And they have one. It's three feet long. Three and feet? Three feet long. Is it this long? And they have all different flavors. And it spins around. And as it spins around, you can fill up with different flavors. That's so awesome. And so you got the cherry. Oop, now you got three inches of cherry. Ooh, now you got the grape, and then you fill oh, it gotta up. You got to have the grape. And it's like a rainbow. Folks, the talk of San Diego Talk Show. <laughs> when it hits the open road on its upcoming summer road trip. <laughs> What's going on here? This guy's all hands and everything. Don't tell Francisco. I know, oh. please don't. <laughs> How did he do that? I have no idea. You were listening in. Yeah. You I, were there. I, well, there's the thing. I was curious. Has he checked her Facebook? Because that's how. That's what I do. I have to check her Facebook first. See if she has. A he didn't know that she was going to be the host. <laughs> well, there you go. Then he's. So I know. How that was he magic. That was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he is amazing. I'm still amazed by that. <laughs> I know. So, Jackie. Why don't yes. you introduce our next guest? This is Andrew, and this is the, how do you say, Aqu it's a, we're, well, our company is called Aquatic <laughs> Aviation. The there website we, we have is aqav.net. Aquanet. <laughs> Almost. AQA, AQAV .net for Aquatic Aviation. Okay. And I want to reiterate the fact I'm not a magician. I will actually teach you how to fly. <laughs> and, you know, it's really, a very magical show today. If I had my choice, <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I think I'd go with this right here. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I saw this on the news the other day, and before the show was even done uh, highlighting this, I was on the phone with Andrew, and I said, Andrew, you've got to be on the show. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. Not a problem. This is so cool. It is cool. It's it's a little scary looking, actually. I love my job, <laughs> and I will tell you, I used to be the biggest scaredy cat. Growing up, I used to hate roller coasters. I was really scared. This thing, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big performer. I do it all. Flyboarding is so easy to learn. I've, I've teach seven-year-olds. I've taught people who people who don't speak English how to flyboard in five minutes. That's actually wow. how easy it is to do. And very safe. We'll take good care of you. I promise you that. And that's what we're calling it, flyboard? Yes. The product is called the flyboard. Our company is called Aquatic aviation okay. and um, you just started here not too long ago yep we actually uh, just opened up last weekend right and um, have, do you have another installation or is this your only installation this is our only one at this time okay. and how are things going so far very well we're actually getting emails from people all around the world wanting to come to San Diego to try this thing out that's uh, reason enough yep exactly right. <laughs> so you, guys you better book up quick before we have everybody coming to San Diego to do you'd this. be able to squeeze us in there though right oh of course always. now what are, you, what are your hours you only Go, you don't do it nighttime, do you? At, no, at the moment we're just performing uh, and teach people how to fly on Friday through Sunday, right. nine to five, but that's going to open up in the next couple of weeks for cool. summer. What if you had lights on this thing, like neon we lights? We have done lights for the for night shows and everything, but yeah, of course, you actually know that's how, really awesome. yeah, it was, yeah. It was, we did that for the uh, Mission Bay Parade of Lights actually, and we actually, I believe we made the parade like half an hour late because everybody just stopped and wanted to watch us fly, <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> it know. is, it looks really cool, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing the pictures yeah. and I'm like, you have to come try it for yourself. Everybody Amazing. says they're scared. Don't be. This is so easy to do. So now your your ankles, your you're, you're locked into boots, right? Right. Yep. Okay. 
And now you brought some swag with us. I did. I've actually brought you guys all a t-shirt each to wear. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah show Very that. Own beautiful logo. Right, let's see what we got. Now you brought one t-shirt or two? No, no, no. I've got like eight or nine. So wow. Yeah, whatever whatever you guys want. Fantastic. It's a very free gift. Yeah, hold that up in front of the camera. Let let's people see. Get this out here. Wow. Awesome. Here we go. Cool, huh? So I, you guys can actually buy these from us as well. Uh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, oh, oh these, these are for us. Yeah, these oh, are for you guys. Oh, I thought you were selling them to oh, us. Oh, no, no, okay, no. These right. guys, these, this is for, <laughs> free for you guys, and we're doing lots of promotions at the moment to try and promote the sport of flight. Did you uh, bring an extra medium for me? That's my side. I did, extra I did. Yeah. Extra medium. <laughs> we got two of those. Yeah, leave that up, girl, because that looks pretty cool. <laughs> it does. That's yeah. beautiful. Segment. All right. <laughs> In fact, so, I've got one for Francisco, too, if he wants it. So you can do okay, one I'll take one for him. Maybe forgive me now. The pink one. So... Give us a little example, start to finish, when I come out there to have to do this. Sure thing. Well, first of all, we'll have you sign our waiver, of course, because safety first, <laughs> we have to make sure we have everybody covered. Then after that, we're going to show you a brief video of what flyboarding is, which I actually um, created. Um, then after that, we're going to fit you out with wetsuit, uh, life vest, helmet, take you down to the dock, get you strapped into the board, where we're going to start explaining how to flyboard. Uh, it's very simple. A bit of instruction will be about 10 minutes maximum. But it's all about just having a good time, enjoying yourself. That's our main priority. Two main priorities are uh, a safe environment, but having a lot of fun as well. Uh, we're going to take you down out into the water and basically all you have to do is arch your back, keep your legs straight with your feet flat and your hips tucked in and that is flyboarding. What you're doing right now Johnny standing up that is flyboarding. <laughs> it's very easy to learn. Only on water. Yeah. <laughs> and how high up in the air do you go? Uh, we can actually take the flyboard up to 40 feet but you guys won't be doing that until you're much more advanced. For the first flight we'll take you 5 to 10 feet and it will feel like 30. It's, it's an amazing feeling. Everybody just absolutely loves it. We always have repeat customers because everybody just loves what they do. And uh, do you do gift certificates? We do. We're actually doing a promotional uh, for Memorial Week. In fact, let me just double check my notes on so I, so I quote it correctly. So for all Memorial Week long, we're actually partnered with a jet ski company called San Diego Bay Adventures at uh, the top of Harbor Island Drive. And so we're offering everybody uh, a one-hour jet ski rental plus a 30-minute flyboarding session for uh, $225. So we're actually going to save uh, $25. This is going to be all week. Cool. Yeah. Now, when you're doing this, do you get tired of doing it? You do. Uh, well, I don't get tired of doing it. This is my job. But I, I mean, when do. you're doing so it, when you're doing it, it, it yes. The, the first time is fairly. Is, it is. It is hard work. It's a very good exercise for the weekend. A lot of fun to do. Uh, but then, actually, after a couple of times on the flyboard, it becomes natural, which is actually an amazing thing as well. The way it was designed was so was very simple, but it actually becomes a natural feeling to do. And you could theoretically just go behind the jet ski and just go wherever the jet ski is going the jet ski follows you so in actual oh. fact you take the jet ski wherever you want to <laughs> right. take it yep yep and you could i, I fly it for miles straight really yep cool did you just stay up in the air like that <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you can fly around as long as you want. But the actual, the cool thing too, like you do ski the jetpacks where you fly around. In this, you can actually swim like a dolphin as right. well. We actually teach you to submerge underwater and come we're, back up. We're going to talk about that when we come back. You can stick Fantastic. around. Fantastic. Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to take a break. Jackie is all excited. Yeah. And so it's, it's kind of looks scary but fun at the same time. I know. <laughs> so we're going to take a break and be right back. This is Johnny. This is Jackie. With the talk of San Diego. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. American Sports Grill, conveniently located in Hazard Center in beautiful Mission Valley. When it's time to relax and have fun with friends, family, or co-workers, Randy Jones All-American Sports Grill. You'll have an All-American great time. Today's weather forecast calls for, you guessed it, heat, heat, and more heat. My advice, do whatever you can to stay cool. Well, folks, did you hear that? It sounds like it's going to be another scorcher out there. When it gets this hot out, why don't you do what I do? Let's head on down to Nado Gelato and Coronado. Yes, Nado Gelato and Coronado. When it comes to real, authentic, handmade Italian gelato, Nado Gelato and Coronado has every flavor of the rainbow. That's right. With over 20 brain-freezing flavors to choose from, you and the kids will be able to stay cool till closing time. So if your shoes are so hot you wish your tired feet were fireproof, then what are you waiting for? That's Nado Gelato and Coronado at Sea and Orange in the heart of Coronado.
Hey, Jackie. Hi, Johnny. Guess what? What? We're back. We're back. Where are we? We are at the Randy Jones Sports Group. Yes, we are. <laughs> and look, I get to watch the TV yeah. while we're doing the show, as people have accused me of in the past. Oh, he was watching the TV <laughs> the whole show. He I didn't even sneaking <laughs> my eye up that I know, way too. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> but this person, they said he was watching the show the whole. He was watching the TV the whole show. He didn't even pay attention to me. Oh no! Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, but hey, that's not the reason we called, is it? No. We had this gentleman, Andrew. We invited yes. Andrew on the show because I saw this thing on Channel 10 News that is just so bitching. <laughs> and it's called the Flyboard. Sorry, I was too busy watching TV. What, what was that? Wait, <laughs> why don't we send you back across now. the pond and uh, never come back? <laughs> Please. Oh, please, no. please don't. I love San Diego. I know. Now, uh, so you've been here in San Diego for a while? Uh, since last July. Right. Yep. But you've been in the States for a while? Yes, for five years. I just graduated college last year and I moved out to San Diego when I decided to start this business with my friends. And uh, so you have some partners doing this? Yes. Yep. Is this one of the guys that we see uh, hanging around yes, here? Yes, one of our one uh, advisors. Okay. Yep. But uh, it's actually the, the four guys. It was me and three of my friends who started it together. All right. Yep. Just a uh, hope and a dream. Moved out to San Diego. And only just recently? You started this right okay well, yeah we've been in and around san diego flyboarding we actually have our location set up now in san diego Bay. you have not turned a profit though yes not yet not yet <laughs> we're, we're expecting a very profitable summer so you expect to be in the in the black by the end of summer i hope so cool not too many businesses can say that right so now are you going to be really all year round yes okay yep uh now we were talking about diving Yes. This? So yeah, the, the basically our, our, one of our slogans is that you get to learn to fly like a bird and swim like a dolphin. So in actual fact, the beauty of the jetpack is you, you can learn to fly, but because it's strapped to your feet, it doesn't. It's not too clunky on your back or anything. It allows you to sort of dive into the water and then bring yourself back up and out. And how far underwater can you go? You can go 30 feet, but I won't let that happen. No. <laughs> Do people? I mean, would you advise if if it was clear water, like if you were right. in? Uh, Florida and yep. the Caribbean. Oh yeah, you can go 30 feet underwater with this thing, but obviously in the meantime, we haven't messed around with that too much. Uh, we think eventually it's going to become like a scuba diving, uh, a, way, a new way to scuba dive as well. Like where you are able to control your own speed and depth too. Right. But for now, we're, we're, we're preoccupied and teach people how to fly. There you go. <laughs> now, how is your vision underwater? Do you wear goggles so you can see underwater? Uh, when we don't, we don't wear goggles because we're just doing all the tricks and the dolphin dives. You actually, when you come out, we won't have you fitted with dolphins because as you hit the water, you don't want to be wearing goggles. Right. Okay. That would probably hurt. Yeah. Probably so. <laughs> yeah. And how long can you stay underwater? You can stay longer as, as long, long as you, you can breathe. Hold your breath. Right. There and, you go. and everything you wear floats. So if say say for in any way that you just decided you want to go down and, and hold and try and hold your breath as long as possible, that won't happen. You'll float right back up. <laughs> and so you're wearing a, a wetsuit. Yep. A full wetsuit or whatever you whatever you prefer. I mean, I was I was I mean I'm from England, so cold water doesn't bother me much. I was no suit. This in is warm water. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is a bath. I call this an English bath. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, uh, what are some of the interesting things you've discovered about this that you probably didn't know that you could do before you even got involved with this? Uh, well, in actual fact, we've, we've kind of really improved on our show aspect. We've really um, sort of taken it to a new level. We actually have the world's best flyboarder in Aaron Gould. Uh, he's always getting emails all the time from people wanting him to do perform shows so he can do backflips, spinning dives, dolphin dives, every, every, <laughs> every move there is, he's pretty much doing it. How long has this device been around? Uh, since last June. And he's already a world uh, expert. Yes. And are there yeah, competitions? Recogni recognized by the inventor of the board. Are there contests for this? Yes, there is. There's, there was one in Qatar back in October. We're going to be going to the next one, whenever, wherever that is and whenever that is. How do you think you would uh, fare? Uh, I think I'd do pretty well. I think I'm England's best flyboarder, but I'm not, I'm not quite the world yet. <laughs> Well, you got my vote. Yeah, thank you very Mine much. Mine too. <laughs> and and what, are, what are you judged on? Uh, um, this is, it will be like a freestyle event where it's kind of just a point system based on the judges that they have. Now, could they set up like a course that you have to go through hoops? Right, and yeah. Uh, yeah it, the actual possibilities for this thing are pretty much unlimited right now. We have much. all kinds of different ideas. Your hands are completely free, so we've in actual fact uh, taken a basketball up there and a football and thrown it to each other at distance whilst flying. Uh, you have, like I say, your hands are completely free, so the, the possibilities are uh, endless. We want to set up an obstacle course that you can kind of travel around. That'd be a lot of fun, too. Well, we need to have you on the show as often as you like, because oh, we really want to promote this. Because uh, yes, you know, the show is all about things to do in San Diego. Awesome. And other than flying, 
But the, you do fly. Yes. You fly, you swim, you do everything. Everything. So you got it all he in one all. package. Thank exactly. you very much. Free flights all around. Right. <laughs> and uh, tell people the website again. Okay, our website is aqav.net. But if you want to just search us into Google, you can type in aquatic aviation. And the phone number? It is uh, 888 <laughs> 265-2728 but if you want to book for our special with San Diego Bay Adventures you can go to their website which is sdbayadventures.com or you can call 619-889-4294 and if they were to mention that they saw any of this on the talk of San Diego a discount what kind of discount we're are we offer, talking? Uh, 20% in the future for if you want to call uh, San Diego Bay Adventures they'll be sorting out all of that for us fantastic <laughs> how are we doing on time there Daniel we have about Three minutes. Oh, three minutes. Now enough time to teach you to fly. Exactly. And <laughs> is that all it takes? Three Pretty minutes? much three to seven minutes. Yeah, we've had some people who literally like just get straight up. It makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> is it easier than say skiing? Yes. Yep. I, I went to ski in the Alps in Italy, and it, it took me and my friends a lot longer to learn to ski than it did to flyboard. Is cool. it similar to snowboarding at all? I see. Th there is some similarities in yeah. certain sports, but uh, so it does help if you have wakeboarded, if you snowboard, if you've done uh, longboarding, and all those kind of things. That does help, but uh, in actual fact, it's its own thing too. I myself have become. I never skateboarded, longboarded, anything. No water sports. Never even been on a jet ski, and I actually. Well, you're from England. Exactly. Yeah. Right? We don't have that. Yeah. Um, so in actual fact, and I learned to flyboard very quickly is very easy um, yeah it's just an amazing thing what it is and uh, what's your favorite food here uh, here I like the sliders <laughs> I, I know I know I know I, I know you offered me one before but I've just ate in fact my well my natural fact my favorite food is pizza I am the pizza machine well if you're ever down in Imperial Beach yeah you've got to go to giant pizza king oh really oh they got the best oh that sounds good to me two locations are awesome. Palm and Coronado fantastic yeah uh, so we really appreciate you coming out. We are looking forward to coming out. Thank you. And checking that out. Definitely. I can't yeah. wait. I don't know I about. I can't wait to try. I don't, <laughs> I don't know about me. I might be too scared. No, don't be. Don't okay, be. I'll I, take care of you. All right, I won't be scared. Uh, fantastic. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to come out yes, here. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, you're on Japanese TV, I see. My pleasure. Yes, we've actually been on uh, ESPN Sports Nation. We were the number one video for the week back in February. Uh, we've got a TV show coming up with the Travel Channel. We've been on various news channels, and we're on the number one uh, Japanese TV show coming up this weekend. Uh, unfortunately, you're going to have to get all these reprinted. Yes, definitely. To put to talk us oh yeah on no, don't worry that sounds good to me fantastic <laughs> well once again thank you andrew for coming out here we really appreciate it we're looking forward to doing some uh, wakeboarding so, so what are we, we calling it flyboarding flyboarding <laughs> and, uh, and i'm sure jackie is looking forward oh to definitely it. it's been a pleasure being on thank you for having so me so it's aqav.net that's yes, apple quincy apple victor.net 888-265-2728 to get all lined up now it off you want a job yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> I want to, I'll drive the uh, the jet ski. That, that sounds good to me. Awesome. I know. Thank you once again. Thank you. This yes, is Johnny. This is Jackie. With the talk of San Diego.